Oh no, but Ness and them are dead now. Oh no! The war against Gigas is over. Oh no. Oh shit, what? Oh, there's Ness. I don't know who the others were because they have no distinction. Oh shit. What? Oh shit. Oh man. I thought they were goners. Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. PSI, farewell. Now. I'll see you again someday. <laughs> what? All right. That was cute. Oh, is that the the magic part of it? Did they just kiss? Oh, he must be giving like hugs or handshakes or something. Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, Maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Ann Donuts. I mean, from my dad. So, it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Oh, man. I'll, don't worry, Jeff. I'll come visit. Ness, will you escort me home? No! Yeah, of course. I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Fuck no, we're not going. Ness opened the present. There's a letter from the kid- from kids inside. From kids? Ness opened the present. There's a letter from mom inside. Ness opened the present. There's a letter from Tony inside. Paula takes it. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Pole Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Post Pole Star Preschool. Oh man, that's great. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat pasta as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie? Or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Alright, first off. First off. 
This seems only fair. I better be able to give this letter from Tony to, to Jeff. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. <laughs> it was fun hanging out together. Can I not, can I not give it to him? Can I not give him the thing? Oh, I can't. That's kind of sad. It's a miracle. A miracle that has only happened because of your courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come, come with you as a robot. I should have used the phase distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids save the world. <laughs> I couldn't help it doing that one. Zoom! The chance of Gigas gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gigas fails. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. Incredible! Excellent! I'm not quite sure what for... Well, what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If we ever have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we can play horseshoes, too. It was in winters that we last met. I just got here. <laughs> about you? You're standing still. Was scared. Now KO. I strong. Boing. Oh, oh, wheeze. Breath is so good. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Here we go. It's in Tucson. That's where Polestar is. See you guys later. Oh, man. Alright. Where's the preschool? It's like all the way down there, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, man. Can I talk to Paula? Is that something I can do? No. No? Fine. It's not like, uh... It's not like Pokemon Yellow where you can turn around and talk to your Pikachu. Polestar. Here we are. Oh man, it's been quite the journey, Paula. He's smiling. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well... I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Don't, Paula. Don't say bye. It's... See it works. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Where are you? Where are you, girl? You're a very strong young man. My opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Paula. Just treat her right. Come by and visit anytime. You can even sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. We're dating. <laughs> it's news to me, but that's why I'm here. Paula. Ness, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone is probably worried about you. Don't! Oh, come on! Fuck. I was really hoping that, like... <sighs> Ooh. I was really hoping that her being all like, goodbye, see you, and stuff like that was a hint that she was lying about forgetting and was just nervous. And that if I'd go up there, she'd say what she wanted to, say, to tell me, which I was just going to assume was going to be a very cute confession of love. Considering all the stuff like, like Jeff saying, if we get hitched, and her dad saying we were dating apparently. Apparently, Ness and Paula were dating. Good for them. That's cute. Oh, man. Back in my hometown. Immediately get attacked by, like, an evil snake or a hippie. <laughs> Just Ness is like... <sighs> it's good to be home. <laughs> As a hippie just, like, throws flowers at him. He's like... Ah, oh, fuck it. 
Never should have come back. <laughs> Just all mad. It's like, ah, snakes everywhere, crows, hippies. Ugh. <laughs> I want to go back to Foreside. I like the big city. Or Winters, where I can hang with Nessie and the monkey. Oh, can I talk with Nessie? Oh, no, I doubt it. I doubt it. Mama! Wow! You've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories. But I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventures are finally over. What? <gasps> Wait. Did you finish doing everything that you wanted to? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, okay. So they do want me to talk to people. Alright, King. What's up, dude? Other dogs haven't figured it out yet. But I know that you guys saved the world. Oh, who else can I talk to? I can go see Everdread, maybe? Frank, he was part of it. I mean, I... I can go see Tony. But Tony doesn't care about Jeff. Goody, my brother's back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. York! If you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Escargo Express, my old company, help you? <sighs> I've saved some money. So we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You also got a new girlfriend. Your adventure must have been pretty good. Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? Yes. What do you want me to do? Oh. It's just for... Oh, I said take care. It just slipped out of my mouth, just like I was talking to you when you were gone. Oh, man. This is awesome. So I'm going to assume... Oh, I'm going to go to my bedroom. Is there anything here? No? Okay. Um... This is like Undertale, at the end of it, where, like, you can go back and, like, talk to everyone. That was, like, one of my favorite things about the ending of that game. Alright. Ness picked up the receiver. Gotta call Dad. Hey, it's your dad. To get to the next level... <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye! Alright. It said Stoic Club. Yo, this is the Lazy Cowpoke Stop and Go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stoic Club? That lame old place shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. Now we've got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by any time. You come, you enjoy, I promise. Click beep beep. Okay. I can't remember where the Stoic Club is. But that's a hint that I should probably go there. That's for sure. I'm curious. What are these fuckers gonna say? Hey, what's up? I killed your son. Salutations! You're the boy living next door. I heard that your family is in debt. Mr. Minch told me about it. We'll live and learn. You just have to keep plugging away. Well, you're being awfully nice. As usual, you're wearing your grubbies. So what do you want? My son isn't at home now. He's walking around somewhere. My husband is also gone. Oh, yes, this is Mr. Pretty Man. He's always, he always has great advice. He's a real gentleman, he is. You'll be happy that you met him. I see. I see. That's another layer to this shit show of a family. The wife is cheating on the husband. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Um. What happens if I go up to the meteor where I met Buzz Buzz? Also, I never talked about this because I was so engrossed in the fight and then got engrossed in this shit. What the fuck was going on with Gigas? Why was he asking for help and saying shit hurt? What the fuck was that about? Like, and he called us all friends? What the fuck does that mean? Did it, it like, and they said like, P Porky said that he, like, Gigas became so powerful one day that his mind like snapped. Does that have something to do with it? Is, is Porky, like, is he, like, Buzz Buzz or something? Or, like, Ness? Or Jeff? Seems like a big meteorite landed here not too long ago. That's it? Alright. Let's see, this should... Eh, let's go down here. This will be better. Um... This is enough room. Where am I teleporting to? Where am I teleporting to? Oh, 
Summers. Summers is where the Stoic Club was, right? That's all I have to go off of right now. And the place should be, the world should be free of monsters. So if I warp to, uh... If I warp to... There's the restaurant. Shop. I swear this is where the Stoic Club was. It was! This is now a truck stop. Absolutely no miners admitted. The management, the lazy cowpoke stop and go. Oh, I can't even go inside? That's upsetting. I thought for sure that was gonna be... Like... The thing. Alright. Underworld. Shoot, where's that? Let's go. <laughs> Sounds cool. Oh, that's the fucking place where I'm tiny, isn't it? Yeah, that's this place. Fuck this. I hate this place. This place is upsetting. I care about no one here. I don't care about Tenda Village. I can go to Winters. Winters is the only place I can think of. Maybe I can go see Pooh and Delam, see if there's something there. Tony! Jeff doesn't call me. Maybe he thinks I'm too annoying. But I don't think so. Ness, did you tell him not to call me? No, I know you wouldn't do that. If you see Jeff, please. Please ask him to call Tony. Thanks. Jeff just called. He's with Dr. Ann Donuts. The two of them may be able to develop a new scientific theory. You've helped make a beautiful life for everyone, except Tony. Kyoko Kiki, Kyoki. Ah, Ness, my husband has been returning home late these days. He says he's busy, Kya. I know he's out saving the earth, but a marriage is also important. Can I go down and see Ness? Nessie? Like, is that actually a thing I can do? Because if so, that's awesome. And if this is anything like Earthbound, the enemies are gone. They gotta be. Because, like, or if, if this is anything like Earthbound, I just realized I said that. If this is anything like Undertale, the enemies are gonna be gone. Um, so I should be able to just walk to it. And it looks like it, because normally this place would be th flooded with assholes. Oh, man. I love this shit. Problem is, this game, unlike Undertale, Undertale, by the end of it, I cared about every single character. Just about. Like, going through, like, all the minor dudes I didn't care about. Like, I knew there was a couple, but, like, like there were certain characters that I cared deeply about. And in this one, like, there are those characters, but they almost were all there before this happened. So, like... I mean, there's the Runaway Five, but I don't know where to find them. So there's those guys. Um, I can't remember, like, F Foreside, I feel like was the last place I saw them. Hey! Kia Ki Ki Kia! In the monkey community, Ness is famous. You're such a great man. Thanks. No problem here. Do I have to do the thing? Where's the thing to sleep? Is that even an option now? I'm the cook for the Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? No, no. There's no need to pay me. The music's changed. Or not. And there's no circle there either, so I guess Tessie's a no-go. Alright. I mean, Foresight's the only place I could think of for the Runaway Five. Um, and the club they were at was over here. Oh man, this is bringing flashbacks to like Moonside and shit. That was crazy. Oh, this game was so good. Oh my god. I can't believe it's over. Hey Miyamoto, what's up? The hint that I gave you was critical to helping you win. Happy happy. We rock. Haha. <laughs> I don't remember the hint you gave me. At all. 
like at all. Uh, no, they weren't in the cafe though, were they? They were in the one place here. They'd be down there. Because up here is just apartments. They were at the one show house where the one girl was. Show house. Theater. I'm a theater major and I called it a show house instead of a theater. A theater? Do you want to buy a ticket? Sure. Yeah. Please have your tickets ready. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. Well, what's the show gonna be? Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. All right, so the Runaway Five's not here then. It's just Miss Venus. Oh, you again. Look, I'm busy right now. I'll give you an autograph next time. Are you here to see my show? No. I'm gonna be honest, no. I'm leaving. I don't care about your show, Miss Venus. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to find the one Runaway Five. I'm I'm basically trying to visit everyone that like I prayed to, cause they're they're the important characters. I could care less about these people just walking around. As harsh as that sounds, I never talked to any of them during my adventure, cause they have no purpose. You know, they're not main characters. Let's check Threed. I don't think they'd be there. They're probably either in Tucson or own it. If they're anywhere. There are the circus dudes I could talk to. They were chill. I was expecting to see them in the prayer circle. Hey dudes! I didn't like fighting the zombies, but those days were never dull. Alright. <laughs> he was all I needed to talk to to see that there was no point in that. I don't remember any sort of theater being here. There's a hint. I'm gonna go talk to the hint guy. I'm gonna go talk to the hint guy. See what he has to say. Excuse me. I would really laugh if he was just like, it's game over, dude. Like, do you. I'd be like, thanks, hint guy. Oh, he's just in this house. I was expecting, like, a, a cardboard, like, stand box, like, in... Uh, like that. I was expecting that. Well, I want to thank you for all the times that you used the hint shop. It's been a while since I first saw you. This is my final day in business. Well, so long, kid. No, no. Master Ness. See you again, if fate allows it. Really? Okay. That's it? I mean... Cool. I don't remember using the hint shop. I think I might have used it maybe once, but whatever. Alright, well that's really all I can think of. I mean... I feel like I remember Everdread getting killed before Moonside. Or during Moonside. But I feel like that happened. There was Frank. And he's here in Tucson, along with Everdread. So I need to go down to the market for those two. After this, um, I think I'll just go back to Own It and look at that album. Of all the times I got pictures with Mr. Pickles. Man. Berglund Park. This is great. Oh, Everdread's not here. What about Frank? Was Frank in Tucson? Or Frank wasn't in Threed. He might have been in Own It, actually. He was like one of the first dudes I fought. Paula doesn't want to see me, I already know that. I doubt she's gonna say anything different. If she does, fuck. <laughs> that would suck. But I, I doubt she will, highly, so I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Alright, I'm here and own it. 
This is the thing with Frank, the arcade. Hey, dude. Yeah? What? He just ran up to me and said some shit. What? You got me, at least. Yeah, I did. Why did he just run up to me and, like, say shit? No problems. Oh yeah, Frank's through here, isn't he? But he's not here. Fuck! Alright. Back to my place, then. Yeah? Why does he just run up to me and say yeah? I didn't tell him, I didn't, like, interact with him or anything. He just did that. It was weird. It was really weird. All right. Oh, man. This is... Like... This is really surreal. In a sense, to me. Because, like... This has been my favorite JRPG of all time. For... A very long time, but I've never beaten it. I'd never gotten past Tucson, but like it was always like, oh, what's your favorite RPG? Earthbound, because I remember loving it whenever I would emulate it. I would just be like, oh, this is so much fun. I love the humor and I love the enemies and it's great. And then I'd never beat it. And oh man. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, they're doing a little dance. Oh, is she gonna join? Oh, she is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Picky Minch. So there was more than one. There's Picky and Pokey. I guess there was no Porky. Lardna Mince, or Loso Minch, Pokey Minch, and he's gone. Buzz Buzz! Liar X Aggregate. Frank Fly. The Sharks. Oh, it's like West Side Story. BH Perkle. Captain Strong. Opponent Police Force. Fuck those guys. Fuck those guys. Paula's mom and dad. Paula and her teddy bear. Orange kid and his mouse. Or apple kid and his mouse, that should be. Mr. Everdread. Yeah, that dude died. The Runaway Five. Fuck yeah. The Happy Happiest. Car Painter. With the evil Mani Mani statue. Bubble Monkey with Tony and Maxwell. Tessie! Oh, I love you. Tessie Washing Club. I want to get like a decal of Tessie and the monkey. It'd be awesome. Brick Road with his like weird face that's probably a mustache. Dr. Ann Donuts and his exploding ship. Jeff. Mr. Saturn. All of them, Mr. Saturn. Oh, it's a done in the font, too. Oh, Erp. Master Belch. Oh, man. George Montague. I don't even remember these guys had a name. Gerardo Mon Montague. I don't even remember those guys. Oh, uh, Monkey Sage. Talarama. Geldgard Monotoli. That Mani Mani statue is kind of everywhere. Venus. Pooh. Pooh's Master. Star Master. Oh, shoot. Dungeon Man and Noble Warrior. The Tenda Tribesman. And then <laughs> Mr. Saturn. That's funny. There he is. Flying men. 
Oh, some of them were dead. Oh, that sucks. These are just all the generic models. Man. This is about 87 parts, Dad. Oh, he's a phone. King, Tracy, Ness, and Mom. This Let's Play was give or take, like, one or two. 87 parts. Like, this is the longest series I've done by a mile. And it's taken me, like, a year or more to finish. Like, that's so crazy. At least it feels like a year or more. Hey, Mr. Pickle. Oh, shit. Is he gonna take a picture? West Side. I had to pose for the camera. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, so, oh, so good. So good. Holy shit. Shigesato Itoi. One of the, the, the greatest. I love him so much. Oh, man. Like, oh, fuck. I, this is so crazy to me to think about. Like, so much happened in my life during this Let's Play. Satoru Iwata. Oh, Mr. Iwata. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Fuck. Oh, my God. This is so... Oh, this is, this is... This is crazy. This is so surreal, guys. Like, before this, I think the longest series I had was maybe, like, 21 parts. I know Off, for a long time, was my longest series at about 18 parts. Undertale might have might be longer than that. I can't remember. But somewhere around 20 and 30 parts was my longest Let's Play before this. Oh man, Concept of Saturn Font by Shikisato Itoi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the font was like his like daughter's handwriting or something. Something like that. Oh man. And all these are like from my game too. They're not like other games where they do this sort of thing and it's just stock shots. These are like from my game. Like those enemies were there when he took that picture. That's so crazy. God, this game is so good. Holy shit. I can't wait to play number one and and mother three I have heard is so I've heard so many people tell me mother three is the best out of the three mother games and after playing this I can't fathom a game being better than this this was incredible like it was so challenging at parts sure and it was frustrating and it had its flaws but like what doesn't there is no such thing as a perfect game by far everything has its flaws and like considering this is such an old game for it to be as good and as near perfect as it is is just incredible like oh this was so good i'm so glad i finally finished it after like oh god who knows 16 years maybe since i like first emulated it jeez Oh, fuck. God, I just can't. Oh, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up.
What was that? Oh shit, I didn't even see that, I was reading something. Oh, that's great. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? <laughs> Shut up, Dad! No! Oh, I see. Well, it doesn't make me... It doesn't... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Dad. Oh, my God. Who's knocking on my door? Is this the beginning of the game? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. This knock is kind of creepy in, like... Surround sound. What the fuck? Did it just cut back to the beginning of the game? A letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It is addressed to Ness. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. The end. Oh man, and that's the hint at the sequel. I'm pretty sure Pokey shows up in... I had to... Is that just the noise of my headphones? I think that's just the noise of my headphones. Anyway. So, I just wanted to confirm the Gigas thing. Um... I just wanted to, to confirm the Gigas thing. Um, and then also see if it was, uh, real or not. So, I just wanted to read this, the conception of Gigas. In an interview about Gigas's appearance in Earthbound, Shigesato Itoi revealed that while Gigas is mostly something that cannot be made sense of, a part of it is like a living being that deserves love. That part is the breast of Hisako Tsukuba from The Military Policeman and the Dismembered Beauty. The Military Policeman and the Dismembered Beauty, Kempe to Babara Shibijin, is a 1957 adult film that Shigesato Itoi accidentally saw as a child when he walked into the wrong theater, confusing a lovemaking scene that becomes a murder as rape. Uh, in fact, Itoi is cor incorrect about several details from the scene. He says that when the guy grabbed her breast really hard, it got distorted into this bell sha ball shape. It all hit me really hard. It was a direct attack to my brain. Despite the fact that this does not actually occur, and Itoi admitted that his memories of the scene were fuzzy at best. However, from his memories of the scene, he added this sense of terror having atrocity and eroticism side by side. And that's what Gigas' lines at the end are. During the end, he says, it hurts, right? That's her breast. It's like, how do I put it? A living being sensation. Gigas' dialogues was created with both himself and a staff member, Machan Miura, since Itoi did not know how to use computers at, th at this time. The two of them would sit alone in a room with Itoi speaking the dialogue, one Japanese letter at a time, and Machan typing it, uh, typing it on the computer, and it being displayed in hiragana. Itoi would then look at the screen and give Murai instructions on what to change, and a section would be finished once Itoi was impressed and they were both almost in tears. Now we're into theories. For many years, fans have debated and created multiple theories concerning Gigas. Two theories have, achie have achieved widespread acknowledgement and have been s of popular debate. The following are three theories. Some fans have noted a resemblance between Gigas' sp sprite in Earthbound Beginnings and Mewtwo from Pokemon. So I'm just going to skip that because that's about Earthbound Beginnings. 
Um, there is a persistent theory that Gigas is a fetus when encountered in the cave of the past that gained support by the fact that Ness traveled back in time to fa G face Gigas, and that one of the final undulations of Gigas' background during the battle makes the image appear to form the outline of a baby. I'm going to put that up now in, in the edit so you can see exactly what I'm talking about, because it looks 100% like a baby. Um... During the battle makes the image appear to form an outline of baby. However, the theory has been disproven due to Shigesato Itoi's explanation on the creation of Gigas and that the image is simply a coincidence due to how Earthbound's backgrounds are generated. It is also clear that though Ness traveled back in time, it was to a point after the events of Earthbound beginning. Uh, and then I'm going to skip that last part because it's spoilers. Um, another popular theory is that the face... Okay, I'm done with that. Interesting. Apparently, uh, I mean, not interesting, actually, now I think about it. They, they do that at the beginning. Never mind. Anyway, that was Earthbound. Sorry for sitting at this blank screen here. I just wanted to read that because that was something I wanted to talk about during the Gigas fight. And I couldn't quite remember what it was because it had been it's been so long since I started the game. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I got my facts straight. Also, I wouldn't have been able to talk about it during that fight anyway, because that was so fucking crazy. Oh my god. That oh shit, I love that. That literally off. Literally off. Like it's so <laughs> The fight against the baby at the end, spoilers if you haven't seen my off playthrough. But the, 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 the fight, I'm just going to censor that, but the final fight in off, the one fight in the train with the dude who won't fight back is so reminiscent of that fight. Oh, man. Oh, man. God, that's great. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this 86, 87, I don't know, 80-something part series. This has been such a journey. Um, I don't know what's going to come next. I have no idea. Um, I know before I jump into Earthbound Beginnings, I want to take a little bit of a break from Earthbound just to kind of change things up. I've been doing Earthbound for so long that even though I have other series going on my channel, I want to mix it up a bit, you know? So I don't know what's coming next. It's going to be a surprise for me as much as it is for you guys. But we'll see what it is. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the series and this video and God, everything. Um, thank you all so much for sticking with me for so long, uh, throughout this series, throughout the history of my channel. Um, it means so much to me that there's, that I'm still, you know, you guys still are here. Um, cause without you guys, I'm just sitting in a dark room. Uh, talking to myself and playing video games, which some would call crazy. I'd call it an average Friday night. <laughs> Funny jokes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, thanks again. You guys are all amazing. You're perfect. Um, God, I can't express my thanks enough to, to any of you. Um, but I hope that in some way my thankfulness for you guys being here for me is expressed through my videos and that you guys know that I'm doing this for you guys. I want that to be known. I'm doing this to, to put a smile on that face. I'm doing this to help you out in your time of need. I'm doing this just to entertain you guys. There's, there's no other reason for me to do this. I'm not making money despite that. I monetize my channel. I'm not making money off this yet. Like, and who knows if I ever will. And I don't care because this has always been about you guys. I want that to be known. I want that to be known. It's always been about you guys. Um, cause otherwise I could just play video games. I don't need to be recording. I don't need to be talking to myself. I don't need that. That, that's all for you. All this extra effort, editing the videos, recording the videos, all of that is for you guys. So I, I hope you guys, I hope you guys know that and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. 
I fucked it up again because it's been so long. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a fantastic evening, and a good night. And as always, see you, Space Cowboy. <laughs>